Well, good morning and welcome back to actually South Uist. Um, driving across, you saw last week that we're, I was on South Uist um, and obviously planning heading across to Bimbecular. Um, but it's such a still, still morning and we came across a little causeway. Now we're still on South Uist, Ministry of Defence area across the way, but you know, I think you just have to stop sometimes and take the cliched little boat gorgeous gorgeous light on the foreground and quite moody in the background just the one thing missing a little bit of hills they're all kind of up here and it's just a little bit too contrasty so a little bit of a bonus view of the north of south uist so beautiful absolutely gorgeous right now we might head across to Bimbecular. <laughs> Lovely. Well, good evening, guys. Welcome to North Uist. Um, I wasn't actually going to do anything tonight, photography wise. Um, even though the light is absolutely stunning. Um, we were just checking out a few park up places and a few other bits and pieces. Nicola was doing a little bit of work. Um, but, well, never look a gift horse in the mouth or something. Um, and I probably still wouldn't be doing anything um, if it wasn't for what I believe to be the South Uist Hills, where we were actually parked up this morning. And where I was doing some photography in last week's vlog. So they're on the horizon, so they give a little bit of interest. So let's see what we can make work with this beautiful light. It's only about another half an hour or so until sunset, so it all feels a little bit rushed, but beautiful dunes, bit of a beach, hills. What's not to like? Let's see what we can come up with. Eh? Anyway, so it's one of those scenes which is beautiful but camera no likey. As in, it's a gorgeous scene to look at, but I'm not sure about it from a photographic point of view. Um, I mean, I love the grass. You know me and my dunes and, and the coastal dunes. Um, I like the addition of the little wooden fence posts. Not overly happy with the, the, the wire in between. Um, and of course you have got that, there's a little bit of light lighting up the far, the far dunes, but... Mm. Interestingly, I actually quite like it when I sort of compose it up with the iPhone. And maybe it's the sort of HDR-ness where you're able to see the full frame. I'm not using any um, filters, um, using three uh, blended exposures. And I'm kind of in a school of thought, filters versus not filters. Um, I, I love the simplicity of not using the filters. Um, especially in a scene like this here where, you know, probably you'd end up getting a little bit of maybe one or two soft edge grad. Um, but I think it was Joe Cornish who said that one of the reasons why he loves to use the filter is because you get to see what your eyes see and you get to see that drama. And I'm 100% behind that because when I look through the frame here, because I'm exposing it's going to fire up another frame because I'm exposing really for the for the for the for the foreground here I'm losing a lot of that that in the in the clouds um, what I'd love to see in the cameras actually is not necessarily merging it in uh, actually taking the image but why not have the camera technology or the, the phone technology in the camera where you can actually visualize that blended shot just to sort of see I've always said wouldn't it be great if you could actually paint on a soft edge grad on the back of your screen just to visualize if that ends up getting adopted by Canon or Fuji or Sony and I end up losing out in millions then you heard it here first anyway so yeah just not feeling it I'll probably fire up a couple of images from here but and I guess that's a lesson learned in terms of rushing I wasn't going to do anything tonight images but heck look at the view and our little home on wheels is just parked there so where I've got something smoky waiting on me something from the aisles Right, 
go back and fire off another couple of images. Um, I'll stop rambling. I'll throw up some images from this evening and then we might catch up in the next couple of days from somewhere else on North Uist. Beautiful. Well, good morning again. Um, beautiful morning, real crisp autumnal feel to the place. Um, we should get some sunlight in about, well, a few minutes anyway. Um, but I'm just wandering along this beach actually. I shot just up the way there along the dunes last night. And there's some gorgeous, gorgeous sand patterns. As you can see here, and I think that's kind of what I'm going to be in fact, I've kind of seen something here with the, with the stones. I think that's what I'm going to focus on now. So, not to everyone's taste, but especially just before that sun, kind of, we're getting a little bit of that reflective light. So, I'll put you away, have a little bit of a play around with these sand patterns. And if I like any, I'll fire them up after this. Beautiful! Good morning from a rather breezy North Uist. Um, yeah, starting to get a little bit of light now. Um, it's going to be very difficult. I mean, the wind has actually just dropped now, and I was going to make my way around to the point where there's some nice rock structures, um, but given kind of the the conditions, and I might still make my way around. The sun has already risen. Don't think we were going to get a huge amount of light initially so i came up onto these dunes um and there was just some of that lovely pre-dawn light now in the distance you probably can't make that out in the distance there was the south Uist hills um which actually were quite nice as a sort of a an element in the frame and there was a little bit of weather moving across them um sadly at the point that they really kind of the weather moved across there just was no light um, on that weather, which basically meant, I'll just take a shot now to show you, <laughs> the hills were completely obscured. However, we now have a gap, um, which one can hope that we'll get a little bit of light streaming through. Um, again, you know me and my sort of coastal reeds, um, but hopefully that light will appear and the mountains will appear as well, potentially with a little bit of weather moving across them, or at least with a bit of interest in the clouds. So we'll see how we go. Oh, I can see the sun coming up. Right. Let's see whether we can make anything of this. Well, that was all a little bit nice. You could tell that something was building. There was, as the sun was peeking its head up over the clouds, there was another weather system moving through. Um, cold wet windy but beautiful and of course as the as that weather system moved past me or as it was overhead rainbows no unicorns though yeah beautiful unfortunately the shot that i really wanted with the hills just didn't materialize the hills just kind of kept being obscured i mean they're they're kind of quite well but then there's no light in the foreground so Oh well, you win some, you lose some. Oh, we have another rainbow out here to see. As long as it stays out there, we're all good. It doesn't look to be any weather moving my way at the moment. It all seems to be kind of more in and around, so. But that was rather nice. Not much videoing while it was going on, of course, because, well, anyone who's been in that situation knows that it takes all your effort just to kind of focus on what you're doing one thing so anyway I think that'll probably wrap up this vlog actually I'm trying to keep these relatively short obviously we are on the road for a, a fairly long time 
and it can be a little bit easy just to record so much and then you guys after 10 minutes get bored maybe you get bored after a minute but um rather nice we're actually staying at the rspv reserve battle Renard, um and hosta beach is about a mile to the north which i think i'm going to go check out today and take a dander up and then hopefully shoot at that later in the week we're due some pretty gnarly weather later in the week as well so maybe i'll just be hunkered down in the van eating chocolate i'm going to carry on shooting but i'm going to put you away once again thanks for watching and we'll catch up again soon bye bye